What's up, Varkheads? It's Paint, back again uh, for the sixth day in a row, I think, which is might be the longest upload streak of my entire time on fucking YouTube, which is what, like fucking <laughs> like 13 years or some shit? Uh, not uploading, obviously, but you know, just how long I've had a fucking account. I don't know, I'm fucking rambling, man. But, uh, I'm a rambler, man. <laughs> Doobie Brothers, man. It's a dank ass man. Y'all should check that out. But today I'll be talking about, uh, I was on Snapchat, man. And I was kind of strapped for ideas this morning when I recorded this gameplay, which is Shadow Warrior 2. Any of y'all have been asking? It's kind of like, uh, Doom a little bit, but like, like fucking blades and shit. And like, you can have guns. You know what I fucking mean. Okay. I'm rambling again, you know? But, one of the boys asked me, how do you deal with a breakup? And it's not that hard. But before we get into that, I just wanted to say, go ahead and add my Snapchat. It's just toked AF, stoked AF. It's in the description. You could ca copy paste, whatever the fuck you want to do. And then also go ahead and join the Discord. I'm going to be on there later tonight. I have a fuckload of homework to do. So if you're here February 2nd, uh, yeah, I'm going to be on there because I got kind of a fuckload of homework to do, <laughs> you know, but, um, what I was going to talk about was, oh, the links in the description and shit, but what I was going to talk about is how to deal with a breakup. Now, a lot of people are going to say, you have to focus on yourself and dah, 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 make yourself better. And it's like, that's on that motherfucking bullshit. You got to go out with the boys and then try to just get back on your fucking feet and just try to have a good time that first night out. Then deal with the repercussions the next night, you know? And I feel like you should have a one week bender at least just as a recovery period, you know? Just to make yourself feel truly great. Just get absolutely blasted for seven days in a row, you know? No breaks, just get blasted and really think about what went wrong in the fucking relationship. Because guess what? A lot of the time, this might not sound great. But if you're a guy, it's most likely fucking you. You know? I've learned that. It's always me. You know? <laughs> but the thing is... <laughs> the thing is, after that bender, what you're going to want to do is just try to work on yourself. But not in the way, not emotionally, because that's some pussy shit, you know? Like, physically work on yourself, just so you get a hot, hotter, like, girl, you know? And if you're a girl, you should probably work out, too, you know? I mean, if you got broken up with, if you're a guy or a girl, or whatever you identify as, there's probably something wrong with you that you need to fix. And most people are shallow as fuck. You know what? I'm willing to admit it, because... I am most people on a couple occasions, but a lot of the time it's a little bit tough to really open up to someone, you know, and there's just, that's usually the end of most relationships because you guys aren't being a hundred percent honest with each other, you know, and that seems like a easy thing to do. But when you get in that situation, when you're looking her in the eyes and then she asks you a question and it's a make or break. I gotta be honest, each time I've ever had to do that, I always break it. You know, emotionally unavailable. <laughs> but the thing is, a lot of the time, you're just gonna have to better yourself, you know? Read a fucking philosophy book, you know? Listen to a good podcast, work out every day for a month, and see how truly good you feel. And this isn't like, you know, your normal, oh, I'll go to the gym. Go for a fucking five mile run without any music and just to see if you can do it, you know, and just really try to dig deep and find who you are emotionally at your core, because it's actually kind of surprising. A lot of people actually don't really like get connected with who they are until much later in life. And I feel like it's a valuable experience to try and find out like what your limits actually are when you're younger you know because i'm just guessing i haven't really looked at the demographics in a while for the channel 
but I'm guessing most of y'all are probably, I don't know, like probably 15 to like 25. Cause you know, I'm, I'm 20, you know? So it's probably just, you know, just like the boys, you know? And I wonder how many girls are out of that percentage, probably a solid, like 2% if we're being honest, but just try to better yourself, you know, man. And when you do that, you could just realize, Hey, Maybe you're just not emotionally ready for a relationship. And I've realized that many times. So that just kind of opens the door for a bunch of hookups. And guess what? That's not bad. But sometimes it can be. Just avoid the gross people. It's not that fucking hard. You know? But now, now that you kind of can get a grasp on what you kind of got to do when you're um like after a breakup it's it's important not to kind of just like think about them all the time if you start thinking about your your ex then uh, you're probably going to start to put them in a positive light and then you forget all the stuff that made you want to break up with them in the first place you know you only remember the good times you never remember the bad you know, that at least that's what I remember, you know, or maybe I'm just a dickhead, you know, I don't know. The number one, the number one review I ever get after my <laughs> relationships was I'm a shut in, I'm a, I'm an emotionally, uh, what, what was the fucking word? Um, emotionally resistant asshole, something along those lines, you know, you just gotta be able to take what you can because if you're younger, Odds are, it's not going to be your last relationship, you know? You're most likely going to move on within a few months, especially if you're in high school or college. That shit's a two-month relationship, you know? And, hell, if you find the girl or guy of your dreams in high school, lucky you. But, um, that's going to be a rough couple of years. That's all I'm going to say. But the thing is, just be smart. You know, use your head. If something bothers you, let them know. You know, it's not going to hurt their feelings. Or if it does, there's more of the reason just to stop, you know. Um, But other than that, I feel like that's the video. Um, If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments. You know, I'll be in the comments. And um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know. If you have any specific situations, I don't know, add me on Discord or on Snapchat. Let me know and um, cover it in a video. But yeah, well, uh, remember, join the Discord, add the Snapchat. I also have an Instagram, but yeah, you're just going to have to find that one. And I don't know, my name's uh, Just Paint. And yeah. Um, your mom's a hoe and um, go fuck yourself. I don't know what else to say, but uh, oh yeah.